brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. I'm still able to talk because I've been captured the most. I'm just kind of numb to it now. Means nothing to me anymore. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads, maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendelos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit. Clear heartbreaker. I get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Tweed. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Jean. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendelos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic. Tell him how pathetic he is. Oh, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Did you just... Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh. That's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Ready for
for Sweezy. Wow, you're really desperate for more alien cum, huh? Look, I done told you what I gotta tell you. I, I, it's gonna be a while, okay? You got my mind dropped to alien cum. Okay, you saw him throw away. I wasn't saying nothing. My son says anything that offends you, uh, let me know. I don't care if I offend this piece of shit, Gublo. George, how can you say such a thing? I'm so sorry, Bounty Hunter. They don't even know what Gublo means. That doesn't make it okay. Okay, why didn't you tell me you had the sickest bedroom ever? Just a little water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Bill kept tumbling after. Gary and Jim ran up to him to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Bill kept tumbling after. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. We're a team of guns. Do you really think we need more firepower? Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. You found another Gatlian? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. So, question is, how do we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. 
I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Sit down, Gene. We appreciate you, man. And we'll handle this. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your felony suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Pseudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, a detective mode. Couldn't we have used this earlier? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? That's right. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? I guess I should have figured this thing would be useless. Lupus! Hey, we're asking you some questions. Do you know Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Sorry, I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, Everybody, what? let's blow up bongo on the drums. No, everybody, I think drumming is just banging on crap like a moron's trick. But this is the one exception. He's great. Yeah, he's really something. You know, th this is all thanks to you, you know, and the time you took to get him that drum. God bless you. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Hey, let us talk to you. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Kent. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. All right, Blurdo. We need the hookup on Dr. Jimmy. Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? You've got a problem with us asking for Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm going to kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Launch is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. See? Was that so fucking hard? 
You know, we had to talk to a bunch of losers just to get you to open up. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. Whoa, At night, coyotes pee on me. God, please, don't let it turn to night again. The coyotes pee on me. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Yeah, yeah, have a good day. Wow, you got some endurance. All right. Let's just find this high oh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. the hell out of here. Again, you don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody hey, wants to talk to me. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torbs are with the G3 now. <laughs>
here it is. High on life. Squeeze it out, fuckers! Oh, thank God they opened this new high on life store. I've been counting down the days. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. I need the new Piper Bong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like I'm addicted to drugs. Your local Hyper Bong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Pseudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm going to say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Woo! These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. I really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh no, no, no. I'm uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was a uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me probably. Hello, no, it's okay. I guess uh, it's the big Hyperbon Six Midnight Launch, and we literally just opened. So uh, I only been here for like half an hour and honestly okay yeah it kind of sucks so far because like i can already feel my soul leaving my body wow nice kid but not helpful at all you get a big fat d ranking it is my pleasure to welcome you to high on life are you being helped already High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Tord family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, Slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is, and you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now.
Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things start to look all rosy, two knucklehead lucks showed up the hat horse. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good bet, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes they do the same kind of voice as you. Everyone should be a detective. Holy shit. Looks like someone got trampled to death. Turned them into a fruit roller. Uh, yes. My friend David Glitz got trampled in a rush. Pretty sad, right? Oh, he did all right to take his bad boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very fucked up. Bad mobs. Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. Don't know really why I liked him so much. Somebody to go with you? Sweezy's gonna fuck oh, you Oh, yeah, up. hey, hey, yeah. Uh, again, you don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I'm happy to serve you. Please tell me how I can help. I love you so much. <laughs> Gus is in the house. Hey, I hope you're having a great day, bounty hunter. And I hope you go fuck yourself. Uh, My turn. Uh, for you. I don't care about me. This is for you. I'm Pablo Pete. I'm here, folks. Put a, 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 put a,
Let me let me show you an example of what I have accomplished with one of my clients. Hi there. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? How are you? They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his two little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what we want to do, you know? But it, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill giblets. Go and do it.